The story of Isaac and Rebecca and Alice in Bible Land Storybook, written by Alice Joyce Davidson, designed by Victoria Marshall. The story of Isaac and Rebecca. A little girl named Alice kept busy all day through. She went to school, she played with friends, and helped with housework, too. Whenever she had extra time, she'd curl up in her nook and read a favorite story from her Bible storybook. One day she read of Isaac when suddenly she heard a tapping on her window from the friendly airmail bird. Alice opened up her window. The bird perched on her head. He dropped the letter on her lap, and this is what it said. Reading is the magic key to take you where you want to be. The book that Alice held became a great big picture screen. Alice walked through it into Bible Land and came upon this scene. She saw a man named Isaac, who looked sad as he could be. He mourned his mother, who had died, and missed her terribly. Abraham, his father, said, What Isaac needs right now is a wife with kind and gentle ways to comfort him somehow. But among these godless Canaanites, there's no one he should wed. His wife should come from Haran, where my people live, instead. So he told his trusted servant, I've a task for you to do. Promise me you'll do exactly what I want you to. Go to the land where I was born, and it is there you'll find a maiden from my people who's loving, sweet, and kind. Tell her my son Isaac is looking for a wife, then bring her here to Canaan to begin her married life. The servant took ten camels, loaded down with gifts, that day and started off to Haran, which was very far away. When he arrived in Haran, he prayed to God above to help him find a maiden who'd bring Isaac joy and love. He prayed, Dear God, please let it be the kind of maiden who, after offering me a drink, will take care of my camels too. A maiden named Rebecca came by in just a while. She was beautiful and graceful, and she had a friendly smile. She drew some water from the well. The servant saw her there. He asked her if she had a bit of water she could spare. Rebecca offered him a drink, and then when he was done, she saw his thirsty camels who had traveled in the sun. Rebecca got some water for the thirsty camels, too. The servant was quite happy, for his prayer was coming true. He knew Rebecca was the one picked by God above to be the wife of Isaac and to fill his heart with love. He gave Rebecca jewelry and asked her right away if he could meet her family and stay with them that day. She said her father, Bethuel, had room and food to spare, and the servant and his camels would be very welcome there. The servant said a thankful prayer. He was so elated, for he knew that Abraham and Bethuel were related. The servant told her family how he was sent to find someone to marry Isaac, a maiden sweet and kind. He said, I've found the perfect one to wed my master's son. If you let Rebecca go with me, God's wish will then be done. Rebecca's folks gave their consent, and without too much delay, Rebecca and her servants and her nurse went on their way. Rebecca, Isaac met Rebecca and loved her from the start. 
Abraham was happy for the joy in Isaac's heart. The time had come for Alice to leave the Bible scene. She came back home by walking through the giant picture screen. Then Alice thought, I've learned a lot today in Bible land, for Abraham and Isaac were part of what God planned. God had promised Abraham a long, long time ago that he would start a nation that would prosper and would grow. And since Isaac was his only son, Isaac had to have a wife who would share in his belief in God and lead a faith-filled life. And though God was is very busy with a million things to do, he helped the servant find Rebekah so his promise could come true.